I have been doing battery and charging adapter reviews for the longest time in my YouTube channel and I have never talked about the clan tools, the elephant in the room that I use for basically all of my reviews. Uh, and today, this review is going to be about the clan tools ET920 and how to use it. Uh, first of all, you will see it has two cables, one USB Type-C and one USB Type-C output and a USB Type-A output and USB A input. So they cannot cross over, most importantly. So when you use this USB A connected to certain device, you will not get output from the USB C output here. Uh, you will have to use the USB Type A cable to get the measurement. So that's one catch, and it has a large screen. I like how easy it is to just show to the camera that the charging speed, for example, if I want to show you the uh, basis, 30 watts USB C charger to my uh, iPhone. I connect the clan tools and boots up in two seconds. Then you can see the five volts is working. Then it's going to go to the nine volts and the amperage will increase. So these information are not possible without such USB meter like this. This is a very well designed meter, very large text, clear to read. And it has a history accumulated charging in terms of uh, milliamps and watt hour. And the charging duration, the charging session uh, in minutes, hour and seconds. And the resistance, 6.94 ohms. And with long press, the current information will be saved in the memory and can be cleared as well. Um, yeah, it's a great device. So right now we can see it's charging the iPhone at, uh, so using that voltage times amperage, that is around 10 watts, right? It's over 10 watts. <laughs> so it's like uh, um, eight, nine times 1.6. It's gonna be uh, 13 watts. Okay. And let's try the wall adapter, which is 65 watts max, still using the USB Type-C to USB Type-C. Takes a minute to boot up. That's it, it's five volts. Again, uh, looks like iPhone was able to manage to negotiate for nine volts charging. So the wall charger with an iPhone with, with the state of charge is 55%. Yeah, very handy device. So we can get a good idea of the charging status and pick the right charger or cable for your device. It will be able to handle up to 100 watts max using the USB-C pass through this, this cable. It's 100 watts max. Cannot go anything higher than that. And I do not have any USB-C device that can do over 100 watts except the MacBook Pro with a Type-C to a MagSafe cable. Um, so yeah, you can see it's over, uh, it's around 10 watts now. Um, you can also use this device to identify high quality or low quality cables, uh, tons of use case and get the total capacity of certain battery banks. But there's one drawback. If I were to test the total capacity, uh, as soon as the battery dies, if I forget to press this button to save the memory, the current session will be lost. So I think that is something Clan Tools can definitely improve in the future. The build quality is excellent. Yeah, I have never seen a better um, USB meter like this. The plastic is is super nice. It's consistent with their design language uh, from their U, um, power the multimeter from Clan Tools.
yeah highly highly recommend it like i've been using it for a long time but never got a chance to talk about it uh yeah so there you go you guys might want to check it out um yeah usb type a rate um three amps i'm not sure what this means so um, I assume that zero amp to five amp is about uh, the 20 volts range. So 20 volts times five is gonna be uh, 100 watts max. And type A, it's gonna be uh, maybe 60 watts. I'm not sure uh, what the maximum voltage um, accepted by the type, C, type A port is. So yeah, um, very, very good tool. Uh, I've been using it for a long time and I will be uh, keep uh, I'll keep using it for all my future uh, reviews on my YouTube channel. This is a great tool. Highly, highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching.